Hey guys, what's up? I am Dylan Udino from PunchlineMagazine.com. We are here in the Copper Room at Comics Comedy Club here in New York City. You are watching A Tight Five, which is also a co-production of RooftopComedy.com. I am extremely uh, happy to uh, introduce you to our uh, comedian guest today, Patrice O'Neill. Patrice, thank you so much for, uh, for being here. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks, man. He's, uh, Patrice is already making fun of me. Uh, so, uh, so Patrice, I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad you're here today. There's a few things I wanted to talk to you uh, a little bit about. Uh, you know, the, the first thing that comes to mind when I, when I think Patrice O'Neill, uh, and actually when I talk to other comedians about Patrice O'Neill, is you're very, you're very much a comics comic. You, you are very well respected. Uh, what else do they say, really? They, that, uh, that's, I mean, when you talk to other comedians. That's, uh, the, that's the overall thing. What's the, what that, say? No, that's, that's. Let's be honest. Let's no, start off honest. That's it. That's, that's the honest thing. Now, as, as far as comedy goers go, uh, I think that's where things get a little bit more divisive. You, you, are, you are very much, uh, in my opinion anyway, somebody, either a comedy fan, really feels passionately, right. positively about, or the opposite passionately about, which, which is to say, really dislikes you. Yeah, liars don't like me. Liars. Yeah, people who lie. People who live a lie. There's people that love living lies. There's people that actually, the word brutal honesty, I was, I was thinking about that the other day, like, the, the word brutal honesty is just a dumb term. Like, I don't understand. Who wants their honesty? Like, brutal should be associated with lying. Okay. You're, little, you're a brutal liar. Right. As opposed to somebody that just is going to inform you of, of what they believe the truth to be right and sometimes what is the truth like like if somebody told me i might not want to hear it but if somebody say hey, look the world's going to end tomorrow there's some people that just want to live as if the world's going to be here tomorrow right i'm a person who likes to be informed that the world may end tomorrow it, it, that's that's the difference it's it, i think um People try to figure out all these different ways to explain, like, the cup is half full and the cup is half thin. <laughs> right. It's all horseshit to say there's some people that enjoy lying, some people that enjoy honesty. Right. I, I meet a lot of people that enjoy, um, they just want, they don't want to be given uh, anything straight. Hmm. So they, they qualify or, or, or classify people like that as... You know, assholes. I guess I don't know. I mean, uh huh. But so, I, mean, so I don't. I don't steal jokes. I don't steal uh, uh, concepts. I don't, right. I've never uh, taken food out of anybody's mouth behind their back. There's a lot of comics that I hate their guts. But if somebody goes, "Oh, what do you think of this person?" I go, oh, "You know, they they fine, man. They they they. I never go. They sh I never collude with people to destroy people like that. But right. I'm the I'm the one that you know, makes you feel uncomfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I mean, just like right now, you you can feel how uncomfortable you are a little bit, uh -huh. but it'll, it'll work out at the end of the day. <laughs> you know why do you think I, why do you think I feel uncomfortable? Because uh, you don't know, because you've heard things. I've heard things about you. Yeah, and you're wondering if they're true. Yeah, some it's true, them, I mean. Some of them are quite true. Yeah. I mean, I've I've I ha I've I've interviewed many comics and talked to a lot of comics. You are not one of them. Yeah. This is really the first time. I mean, I have a reputation. You do have a reputation. So, but I mean, your point. Uh, I, I think I, I really appreciate your point. You, you feel it's more brutal to be kind of this kind of uh, to lie to cod, me. this why coddling you, why would liar. You lie to me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like just like this con this this whole this interview starts right. Yeah. Going, people say you're a comics com like comics hate me. Really? More than people. People like me more than comics do. Really. Because I think, I don't know, I come from a place, there's a few comics that come from the same place where funny uh, wasn't, like comedy is a, is a lucky uh, place for me to have been able to go. Yeah. It, 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 relative to my life. My life, if there was no such thing as comedy, but I still was the same person. I don't know what I'd be doing. Right. Like I'm like I got into comedy based on the fact that there's a place that a funny person can go to make money, and and, and live his life, uh, you know, with some respect. Right. You know? uh, a lot of people get into comedy because they've never been funny, but they get into comedy 
because they it's a business and they enjoy the business part of it. I'm not a big fan of the business part of it. That's why, you know, that's why I'm like I am because I, I wish I could just be funny and it all be fun, but it's not the business part of it. I'm, I'm I don't excel at the business part of it because the business part always lends itself to a lot of things that you just don't want to do. Like if I want to be a curmudgeon, I want to be. You know, as long as I'm not hurting anybody. Right. Like, I could be the Grinch as long as I'm not trying to fucking steal your Christmas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, you can do what you want to do, but as long as I'm not affecting how you do things. But a lot of people want you to... Sometimes, look, I get up in the morning. It's 5 or 6 in the morning, and, and uh, you know, you see somebody, and they're smiling early in the morning. Like, good morning. Hi. <laughs> and it forces you to go, well, good morning to you. But right. It's like... Well, I'm at six in the morning. I'm like, wow, I'm really, I'm bullshit right now. I'm not ready. Right. So really, I have to adjust my curmudgeonry to your bullshit. Yeah. Your basic, fundamental nonsense. But do you think there's, do you think there's any positive to that? I mean, I mean, if if it you're if you're kind of forced or or urged to kind of lift yourself up a, l- a little that's, bit. That's the, that, but that's, that's you just reading from whatever. That's, what you just said is in some <laughs> book somewhere. That somebody I barely wrote. read, so yeah, I don't, I don't it's know. Gotta, you got to write your own books, man. It's like, what's the word? It's like I learned, one of the few things I learned in college is good is good if it's good for me. Yeah. And I, I enjoy the people I enjoy. I enjoy things the way I enjoy it. I don't want to enjoy life uh, set up by someone else's rules of how to enjoy life, if that if that's what it means. Because you'll say, well, that lifts you up. But if I'm going in there, if I shake, <laughs> if I shake your hand, right? Yeah. I don't like you, but I'm shaking your hand, yeah. and smiling at you, and everything else, yeah. right? Um, that makes you feel good externally, but internally, sure. we might not have a connection. No. I'd rather have a connection with you. I'd rather things are forged in fire. Everything is forged in fire. Uh, and 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 fire is hot, man. Or even better, you know, diamonds are, come out of pressure. Everything good comes out of pressure. So I know you got some things about you that ain't shit. Right. <laughs> that you probably desperately try to hide. I know it. I can feel you. I'm smelling you. Little creep. <laughs> but you'll hide it the best you can. And then when they find out, you'll kill yourself. Just like yeah. Tiger Woods. As opposed to fucking lying his whole life. Right. Why that nigga just don't fuck? His 13 women, right. like he won. As opposed to now, he got to hide like a dirty rat. Because no one knew he was a dirty rat. He flew around like an eagle, now he's a dirty rat. Yeah. So come on, be a dirty rat if you're a dirty rat. That's why I don't take jobs with Disney. Walt Disney and, and things like that. Have you, been offered, family things. have you been offered Disney jobs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For what? Have they seen your act? It, Do they know? It? No, they don't. <laughs> but I, don't, I won't take it because here's the problem. Pee Wee Herman would still have a career if he just was honest. The, the fact that he might go into a movie theater, right, and possibly get caught messing around. With yeah, him. and that's nothing compared to to what's going on today with celebrities. Yeah, that's but, like but child's like, play. Look at, uh, if if Gary Busey or Tom Sizemore, yeah, or um. Flavor Flav, or uh, I'm trying to think of a, of, of a controversial celebrity. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen knocked this woman upside her head. That and he's still, and he's still his career is still going strong, and his show's still number one. Yeah. Because Charlie Sheen. And she's coming back to him. It, it, because in reality, <laughs> women, women, look, I'm not saying women love to get socked in the head, uh-huh. but women, if they are honest. Women will never be honest with you about there's something attractive, not about getting beat up, but there's right. something attractive about an asshole to them. But they won't admit it because Oprah and them, you know, the vagina mafia tells women how they're supposed <laughs> to think, but they still don't know why they're still attracted to this dude who's not as nice as the guy uh, for Valentine's Day who brought them flowers and chocolate, and they don't know why they hate that dude. Right. They want to be with the guy that's home watching the game and he goes, oh baby, go out and do your thing. I'm not going out, but I want to go out with you. But the other guy that comes and he's like, well, I'm the guy who loves you. She don't know why she hates that dude. Yeah. But all we got to do is be honest and have a conversation about it as opposed to, um, you know, the mob telling you 
how to go against how you feel. Uh -huh. That's what this world is right now. It's a bunch of people who want to legislate and control how you feel. Forget what you think and how you act. They don't even want you to feel anything no more. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like I am, man, because I don't like to be told what to do. And it ain't, a, it ain't about authority, because in, in honest, uh, in truth, what's authority? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot of, what, what is it? Am I your authority? Like, it's a, the, the, what's inappropriate, what's not? That's what makes the world great, is that you feel how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to take that wedding ring off, man. You want to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Of course. I Look at you. I barely go what up. What does that mean? This is what you... Yeah, well, no, I'm, no, I don't know. There was a lot of lying going on there. There was some truth, then there's a lot of lying going on. Right, right. You want to just put that in your pocket so you can, you know, be sexy again. Maybe. Yeah. Patrice, if you, ma if you, if you make me cry by the end of this interview, it's, I'm just it's saying, not going to be... A... I'm just saying, I want, I, want, I want you to get down to what you really feeling right but you can't upon meeting somebody you can't just be why 100 percent combative make a make a, i'm not being combative no 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 not but not right now but why, why can't you be 100 percent? i mean you have you i mean don't you have to go through the the, the pleasantries a little bit like you know why? so so i just met you out I, I just saw you outside i what I, honestly what i wanted to do because you know i've never met you and you know maybe i'm a little intimidated okay. was just walk right past you and you know i'll i'd see you inside but i for i pushed myself i'm like oh hey patrice i'm dylan i'll be interviewing you okay why'd you do that because that's the because society dictates that that's society dictates. you know do you feel comfortable saying that? I, no i don't of course i don't that's what i'm saying do you understand but, what but i don't know anything i didn't really know anything about you and i'm like he's a, right he's, now, he's right? a human i'm a human right i should now. reach I out to right him now. and be I nice tell right now yeah physically okay here's here's the thing that wraps that gets me caught up too i'm six foot four yes 300 pounds yes black dude yes okay but i'm a comedian so i'm not that that i don't have a reputation i've never put my hands on anybody or no but it's still that that aura, I guess. Yeah. Of, of that, I can tell that you're aggressive. I can tell you're bossy. I can tell. <laughs> you, 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 you were pretending to be like a little sweet guy, but you're. I've met guys like you. Yeah. Uh, you Jewish, right? No. You're not Jewish. I'm not. You're pulling it off pretty good. Thanks, man. You got. Um, <laughs> you're, you're aggressive. I can uh -huh. tell. You don't take no shit, but you still have your social structure that that I'm going to learn that you don't take shit later mm. as opposed to now to give me the option to go okay let me adjust to how you really are instead of us doing the the pleasantry dance uh -huh. you, you feel me so how should how should I have you be, kind of approached you, you? you dude if, I was outside if, if, looking at the looking at this 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 uh I was outside looking at this thing and let me ask you something were you really looking at that thing or were you just making yourself look like you're 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 occupied with something else so no one would engage no, you. There's nobody there's nobody okay. out All right. there. But I can understand right. that. But you All see right. your thought process there. Right. It's just it's a little snarky thought process. <laughs> Because you don't believe anybody. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, anybody. I'm just look, I'm just, you're, I'm just looking these, at the options. These new, these, this newfangled, not newfangled, but the, like a kind of snarky, um, aggressive little dude who can't see. I'll say I don't like something, uh -huh. but you can look through things. You see how you put that together? Like that was so amazing. That was an amazing uh, analogy, amazing synopsis that mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm wasn't even thinking that okay because i try not to live my life pretentiously but that is how pretentious everybody is so that you have to come up with these grandiose <laughs> ideas of somebody being that pretentious that's amazingly pretentious if somebody I, that. I don't i don't i don't see that as being pretentious i stand out there looking at the sign seeing if i'm coming up right see what picture they got see who's coming up right. at the show and I'm not knowing w what it is. I'm just here a little early looking at this thing. Right. You come, hey, I'm interviewing. Hey, how you doing? And you didn't have to. No. But if you righteously did it, that's fine. But if, if you're trying to create a, a reason to do it, then that's a, that's a whole other story. I mean, I think people should be, you know, treated kindly. 
You know, if, 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 me, if, if, I recogn if I saw that you were standing there and I'm about to interview you in 10 minutes and I just walked right past you, that's kind of shitty, no? Not necessarily. All right. Not, not if you did it righteously. If you're just that kind of dude, which you possibly could be that kind of dude, but you don't want me to know you're that kind of dude till later. Till I have investment in you. Well, because we had to, you know, because we had to sit down and do this. I don't want you to hate me while we're doing this. It wouldn't have mattered. Like, it wouldn't matter. Like, you don't know I don't hate you now. That's true. You, you feel what I'm saying? I don't, but, I don't hate you, but you don't know. Right. Because but, of, of your... It, it's almost like what Bruce Lee used to say. He created that the, uh, Jeet Kune Do based on um, the idea of water and the idea of being able to take shape of whatever you need to... Whatever comes your way at the time. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the method of it. And, and that's what I mean. That's why being pretentious... Is not good because it doesn't and it doesn't enable you to take the shape of whatever you need to be. Like if I'm out there figuring that out, mm -hmm. just looking, yeah. and you just go, okay, well he's doing that. You know, it, it doesn't. As long as you live by your code, yeah, that you create for yourself, then I have to adjust to that as long as it's righteous. And then if I'm a guy who's comfortable in my own skin, I'm, I'm going. Me and your philosophy are going to meet up. And then we'll create something either really good or we'll just not. Yeah. But as opposed to trying to, like, I got a, my, my, my girlfriend has a daughter, right? She's not my daughter, but I love her. I love her. Right. She goes, when she was five years old, right, she's, she's 11 now, okay? When she, was, when she was five years old, she used to say to me, um, I love you, Mr. P. She called me Mr. P, right? So mm -hmm. I said, I love you, Mr. P. She goes, I love you, Mr. P. I go, you should. Right? And she starts laughing. Okay? Now she's 11. She goes, I love you, Mr. P. I go, thank you. She goes, you're supposed to say, I love you too. Right. Okay? Now I love her. But my thing is, I'm doing something for her that makes her love me. Right. Okay? So meaning, she loves me outside of whatever I say or whatever I do. Now I'm trying to not set her up for failure because I could easily, because she's emotionally ready to say she loves me, yeah. she doesn't know where I am emotionally. All she needs to know is that I do something that makes her feel like she loves me. So if I go, I love you too, just because that's the pleasantry yeah. of that, that's a lie. But I do love her. Right. But I'm not going to love her at, on her time. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to do it on her time. You don't, you, you don't force me. You're not the boss of what I do. So I'm trying to teach her that a dude out there could easily say, just like the handshake, right. the good morning. <laughs> it, 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 and it, it doesn't mean it, anything. It's empty. Right. You, you understand? Right. So whatever I'm doing for her to make her love me, is that's the truth. And the rest is horseshit. What she's doing is horseshit, right. not what I'm doing. But do you, then do you choose other times to, to be I verbal about? I love her when I'm, when I'm giving her life lessons when i'm talking to her about how to be better in life yeah and i assure her that i love her while i'm while she's upset right you know what i'm saying that that's the time where you where i go okay you know i love you and but i'm i'm telling you this because i love you if i didn't love you i wouldn't have these conversations with you so at the end of the day you know it, it's a basic thing of how you feel mm -hmm. you know what i mean as opposed to you know how to get through life with a lot of liars, you know? I mean, I'm really, this is like comedy though. This is a comedy thing here. It's like, well, he's not being funny. That's okay. He's a shit. I don't care. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's not, funny's not now. Do it this, do it this way. It's, it's organic. It builds. It might take us an hour and a half to build to like, wow, this is, this is great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it's not great. You gotta just be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even worry about this interview. You'll interview a couple other people. Who are you? Sarah Silverman's coming in? No. Who is it? Uh, Sarah Benincasa and uh, Tom Green. Oh, that's going to be hilarity. <laughs> I Just don't know. I, I don't, you know. I don't know about that. You know what I mean? Let me, let me, let me ask you this. Uh, you seem to have this this kind of uh, life philosophy where you're, you're not a liar, you're, you're not, you know. I mean, I've lied before, don't get me wrong, but I'm but saying. You, but you try, to, try, you try to live as, as, as honestly as possible. possible yeah. 
in, uh, in theory, it sounds like that should be, uh, that should be a lot less demanding than someone who's constantly living lies and, and trying to be nice when they don't want to be nice. Is it, is it, is it, I don't know how it's done. Do you feel more relaxed or is it draining and exhausting to live honestly? Um, it, no, it, it, it's draining when most of the people you're around want to live their way. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Where the preponderance of the people yeah. are like, like this conversation where, where you go, well, isn't it better to do this or isn't it better to do that? People who live that way, it, it is exhausting if it's just a bunch of people who just don't live that way. So you have to come in, be you, and then the people who are actually searching for something, they gravitate towards you, and then you build and you and you build on something. You build on 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 the the truth. People build on the truth. Lies, you know, you got to remember what you said. You got to right. You know, you got to do this and do that, and you just don't. It's hard to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And when I say truth and righteousness, it's not biblical. It's just yeah. basically if you go into the into a place and they make it, they put mayonnaise on your sandwich instead of mustard, like you asked. Yeah. And you're feeling like, uh, it's okay. Right. But just. Okay, so you'll so you'll tell them that they made a mistake, but how do you go about telling them? You just say it. You don't go like it's not it's not aggress an aggressive. You don't have to be aggressive to be. What you but do you want to be aggressive? Sometimes you have to be, because. So you don't. You don't. I like being full on aggressive as opposed to passive aggressive. You ever had anybody yes. ask you to do something? Sure. But it's really a demand. Sure. They go, hey, would you like to come here? Would you like to do this? And you go, is that a, is that a question? Right. Are you? But that's passive aggression. Yeah. That is putting them outside responsibility. That's making them. Would you like to? And if you go, no. But you, that's the rule is you go, right. yes. Right. But that's what I mean. That's, that's a dishonest way to live. Is, right. Is passive aggression is, is probably, as, as a life experience for me, it's probably bigger than a pet peeve for me. It's like it's probably the worst thing I can deal with is, is someone wanting you to do something but really not going to say it. Right. Instead of just saying it, they not giving you the opportunity to go. No. It's, right. It's, it may, it's always in a position to make you look like you're an ass, as opposed to, you know, this is what we want you to do, and I go, well, I don't want to do it, and then they go, well, yeah. oh. right. But that's 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 <laughs> what I deal with. But that's why you know me. That I've never met you, and right. that's why I have a reputation based on on little things. Like if you ask people, well. What's Patrice really done to you? Oh, well, like Bobby Slayton. He don't like me, right? He'll tell everybody. He goes, oh, he's just a jerk. He's just... Bobby, you're a jerk. <laughs> you're a jerk. But he don't like me because he wants to be top jerk. Right. But I'm like, dude, I don't. there's, there's room for many assholes, man, in the game. There's tons <laughs> of assholes. There's room for you. But he, well, well, he, he has no real reason. But I tell you what. I've, there's been times where I, I've been told that I, I was the best, and I'm not trying to victimize myself because it is what it is, that I, I was the best man for the job. Yeah. But I didn't make people in the room feel comfortable. Right. So it's like we are in a business where they will take the fifth best person as if they're the, the number one nice nicest. Okay. They won't take the the best person who might be the fourth nicest, which seems to me to be ridiculous. It, it, it just seems ridiculous. Yeah, maybe sure. it's not based on, you know, again, that's my own thinking, you know what I mean? Right. Again, you got your, you, you, you got points that you're making that's interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like, like never ever let me stop you from making your points because I'm, I'm a collaborator. I like to, I like to go, oh, okay, that's very interesting. Just like, just like the, the pretentious, scenario that you said yeah yeah that shit's pretty interesting yeah it makes you go wait a minute was i and you go oh, okay <laughs> i don't think i was but it's very interesting you know what i'm saying that's what collaboration is you yeah. know you don't let me wiggle you out of who you are and i'm not going to wiggle out of who i am and then we can come together into some weird kind of 
synergy, which is which you know makes things more interesting. I think. Well, let me ask you this, Patrice, as uh, as we wrap up here, how did how, how did this go? This interview? Yeah. Nowhere. It's nowhere interview. What did you want to ask me? What do you really want to know? I wanted to get a, a better sense of who Patrice O'Neill is really? and, 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 and our viewers. Who's your viewers? The people that read this shit. The, read the, the people that a read. A bunch of smarmy white kids who are going to just, <laughs> you know, dot edu and just like, well, you know, <laughs> I, I fucking Twitter. These, these snarky, douchey kids. Like, See, why, why? All of a sudden, I'm a snarky, douchey not you, kid? Not you. Uh, not, maybe you, but not you. Not you. Okay. But could be you. Okay. Like anybody who wants to look Jewish who's not is just I, a weird. How thing. how am I trying to look Jew? I can't. Just Jewing it up. I'm Ital I'm Italian. Oh, and, you're and really I have, Jewing it and, up. And, and I have. Look at this fucking camera. And I have kinky hair. I don't and, I, I don't know and, how and else. Being honest, he's Jewing it up, and you, you have a Jew vibe, not an Italian vibe. I definitely don't have an Italian vibe. I I, I don't think I want an Italian vibe. So you went Jew vibe. I, so why don't you fucking <laughs> just be honest, man? You went Jew. I, I, I don't know how I've gone Jew. I, I respect Jews. Did he Jews. not go Jew? <laughs> did, he, it, did he not go Jew? Why? You, how, you went Jew. How, how did I go Jew, though? You went little Jewy glasses, uh -huh. unkept, thick Jewy hair, uh -huh. and Jewy attitude. This is not Italian. Like, fucking, well, trying to... What should cut, I be... Should, should, I be should I be grabbing my nuts and scratching them and showing some more chest hair? With that. I mean, that's stereotypical, but that'd be nice. <laughs> that's, closer, that's closer to who you are than a Jew. Uh-huh. I guess, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, okay. Um, the, like I Twittered, Avatar, good movie. Uh-huh. I liked it. Just liked it for what it was, right? I guess this is why I might be so... Avatar pretentious. wasn't pretentious to you? I haven't seen it. I'm just... <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. I'm aggressive because right at this day and age, you almost have to be aggressive to, to, to have your own opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, especially with an internet world out there. We're kind of talking into cyberspace and it'll end up being on something. Yes. And I kind of am making... I mean, you're putting yourself out there. Sure. As an Italian Jewish kid, right? Whatever you want, yes. And I, not what I want, it's what you. <laughs> no, I mean, don't act like I'm being a dick. No, I'm ask not. Why you Jewish every single day of your life? Absolutely not. Well, they think it. Okay. They, they're going on. I want it to could, be Jewish. It could be worse. It, it's a fact. I know it to be a fact. If you ask somebody right today, right? Uh huh. What do you think my nationality is? Uh -huh. They go, um, because they'll go, they'll go. Maybe he's not Jewish. Uh, they're not gonna say Italian. They go, I don't know, Jewish. Right. Maybe, okay. Maybe Jewish. I'll do it later today. Do it today. I, I have a few hours. People, you fucking email, I guarantee 19 will say Jewish. Okay. The point being, fucking be Italian. The second thing is, <laughs> when I Twittered Avatar, these are the people out there, right? I Twittered Avatar, good movie. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. You know, a little bit of this, uh, oh, it was just dances with wolves with blah, 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 blah. I've seen it in a film noir. It was stolen from blah, blah, right, blah, right, blah, right. Blah. And then they, yeah, really? You can't fucking enjoy something, Mr. Goddamn dude out there that I don't even know. At least you're out in front of the camera, right? At least you're taking a chance, putting your your Gentile nature <laughs> out there like that. Uh -huh. And I'm doing the same thing, but see what we're doing right now, we, we, are, we are earning our opinion. See, you've earned the right to say that I was being a douche out there trying to just be in my own space. You earn that right because you be sitting here talking. Right. But somebody out there, they don't earn the right. They All they do is earn the right to watch and have an opinion. The computer has given them the right to like, I think you suck. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Really fucking something something douchebag 865? Really? You think you have the right to fucking say I suck? That's the difference. That's why I'm so mad, I think. It's because I'm trying to isolate myself from the internet. Back in the day, if, if, if somebody hated Lucio Ball, mm -hmm. 
You think they could just sit there and just write shit? No. They had to work hard to not like Lucille Ball. That's true. They had to find out where she lived or who's going to get the thing. They got to fucking go to the post office. They got to buy a pencil. They got to write it. Yeah. They got to buy stamps. And then they got to figure out where to send it yeah. to say, I hate you. So if somebody hated you back then, that was legitimate. Somebody sit there now and go, ooh, 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 ooh. It's too easy now. I don't respect that. Anonymous aggression. Oh, I worked oh, anonymous aggression. Yeah. So I put myself out there, like, with a, f a f name to the face, which counts. A, f a faceless opinion don't count. Your opinion counts. You're sitting here and you're doing your thing. You count. Thanks, man. You really know how to confuse a guy. You count. Thanks, buddy. See, that was smarmy and sarcastic, what you just did. But I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was sarcastic? That I called you buddy? Or, no, it's, you know, or that I said, no. you really know how to confuse me? Which I know you're not confused at all. Patrice, I wish we could sit here for... We could. You know what? I don't, I don't really give a shit if we, we, could. If we well, sit let's, here. Let's end it somehow you think you're supposed to end it. Patrice. Say what you got to say, man. I'm gonna, Spit it out. I'm going to say some things I have to say. Spit it out, man. And then I'm going to shake your hand. Spit it out. Because I, because I want to five minutes. Because I want to shake your head. Now, this is definitely, there will be a five minute version of this, but this is definitely got to be uh, seen in full. And I'm funny. For sure. So somebody might be sitting there like, what's Hilarious. wrong with him? But, but it's like, we just having a basic conversation. We are. Next conversation we'll have, I'll be like, hey, what's up, man? Like, I'll be on, I don't even remember your name. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. I'll remember it. I'll try to remember it. Maybe we could. Dylan. Maybe we could swap. Are you a comic? Maybe, no, I'm not a comic. No. What do you I, do? I'm a, I'm a writer and editor. I just uh, appreciate. Of this, ma this is you. Punchlinemagazine.com. This is you. This is me. I thought Punchline. You bought it. It's it's mine. It's been mine, since '05. Oh, it was a magazine. It's a it's an online magazine. But I thought it was an actual. No. It was at one point, wasn't it? That's for lo that's for losers. No. No, hmm. nobody wants real magazines. 2005, very well, oh, holy, like 22, 23. I'm uh, 32, Patrice. You look young. Thanks. That Jewish skin, buddy. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I try, I try to do. His fucking mother's gonna knock him in the head. <laughs> How dare he call you? You what? I, I want to show you something now that you keep on talking about my hair and see. This is this is what it used to look like. Would you? Would would you I be? You, would I be Jewish you there? Look a little bit, um, you look a lot more Italian there. Like a mm. lot more not Jewish. And I think it's the glasses. Look at that. That is, that's fucking, yes. yeah, a little situationist. Like a situation, like you got abs. Like, <laughs> I definitely don't have abs. I could, uh, I wish I did. So you're gonna talk to her after this, some like, uh, who? Uh, after you, Sarah Benincasa and Tom Green. What does she do? Sarah, she's a comedian. And I heard, what do you got? Uh, twelve thirty. Yeah. So you got another hour just to relax. Yeah. I figured maybe I'd hang out with you, grab a bite. That probably won't happen, but, but. Uh, Are you sure? Because because I'm feeling something. It could. I'm feeling something special. Because I like I'm digging the real you out. And I feel it. Yeah. I feel that you are a, a, a real uh, what they call a live wire, my friend. A real Italian Jew. Some yeah, something's in you. You got some evil demons in you, man. Sure. Don't we all? Yeah. That's the whole point. And what's your demons? This is about you, Patrice. Uh, see what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if we were honest right there, that was your big opportunity to be my friend. Well, geez, I'd have to write a list down and... and you got kids? I have a kid. I have a one-year-old, yeah. I think you're lying about your heritage, man. There's something real <laughs> Jewy about you. Dude, like, if, just... if, anything, I, if, if anything, there's probably a little black in me. Because I'm a quarter Sicilian, and you know they're well, not. We all, we you're all not, see true you, romance. We know. You know they're not pure. We know the Moors uh, and, did something with your great great. -great. Right. No, I've seen the scene. So, if, so if story. anything, I'm 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 closer to to an eighth black than I am to Jewish. So what did you really want to know? I think we. This is it. We did it. What did you really want to know? I'm not here to. Uh, what did you really want to know? What did you really want? What, get, ask me what you really want. I wanted to have this type of conversation. What did you really want to know? I wanted to have this conversation with you. What did you try? About your philosophies, about about life, about how you how you view the world. This is it. 
What do you think I wanted to know? Like, I don't know. When, how'd you get started? Or, I don't, I'm not going to ask. Right, I'm right, not gonna fair ask, enough. I'm not going to ask. That's, that's, that's impressive that you didn't Dopey questions that. like that. Who cares? Right, the bio questions. People could go on Wikipedia or go to your website and right. know that you heckled somebody in Boston and Smart. in 02 or, I mean, in 92 or whatever it but was. And do you see how you come to real use coming out? What's that? You have. Well, I did some research. But you was, you, what you're doing is it, prefacing people who ask those questions as losers. Not losers, but I mean... I think they'd be losers too to ask that it's, basic shit, but... It depends on, I mean, you know, when you're interviewing somebody, you should learn the basic shit and then ask questions based on what you know, right. not ask the basic questions. What are you gonna ask Tom Green? I don't know. Probably ask him about... Uh... <laughs> 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 Make me laugh, man. Uh, I am Dylan Godino, and I just pretentiously did this. Dylan, be honest, Dylan Godino Berg. I am Dylan Godino Berg uh, from punchlinemagazine.com. I am here at the Copper Room at uh, Comics Comedy Club here in New York City. This has been a co production between punchlinemagazine.com and rooftopcomedy.com. I want to thank. Patrice O'Neill for being my guest today. Patrice. I don't think you got anything out of this, man. Patrice, yeah, I got a lot of sure. out of this. This is a Are hand sure? this is a handshake uh, that I wanna give that I wanted to give to you, not just because this is how I end all the interviews. Patrice, thank you so much for being here. Shalom, man. Peace. <laughs>